Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. The U.S. say Shalom to the Akiam and to the Akwaf of you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rathaza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully through the um, through that by the end of this lesson you'll be edified. This is your brother uh, Amawan Ibad, back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, another in transit to feed the lambs of Yahweh 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 Shai as commanded. You know? And um, the fight con the fight continues, brothers. You know? fight continues, we got to continue on in the faith, you know, try to stay strong, you know, so that we can um, endure unto the end, as the scriptures say um, in the book of Matthew, you know, Matthew chapter 24, verse 13, and he that endured to the end the same shall be saved. So you know, we gotta we gotta push through all the way until the end, man. You know, we gotta we gotta keep the faith and keep pushing and keep fighting. You know, as our Lord said, you know, uh, when he when he returns, shall he find faith on earth? And we gotta you know make sure we give our all to be found blameless in that day. You know? You want to be found blameless, man. You want to um, stay prayed up. The scriptures say to, um, you know, pray without ceasing, you know? So, uh, we got to stay, you know, in prayer, man. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17. You know, pray without ceasing, man. We gotta, you know, just constantly pray, fast, fast, if you if if, if you will, you know. That's, that's what the scripture says: to fast and pray and, and 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 to watch. You know, keep track of the news, keep track of what's going on, and to watch. You know. And, to, and, and if you see something, say something to bring it out, to, 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 to warn the flock, you know remember the Lord said, give them warning, Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17, we have to warn the flock, son of man I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel okay to hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me roughly paraphrasing, so we, we, are, we are to warn the flock man so we, we, have, to stay, we have to stay on our watch you know, God said to watch as well as pray. You know, but that's that's what it is. It's no, it's no, no, no going up, no going around it, man. As a matter of fact, let's better grab a quick scripture. You know, because we are we are to watch. Uh, go to the book of Luke. Real quick, Luke chapter uh, Luke chapter twenty one. Uh, about the thirty sixth verse. Yes. This is Luke chapter 21 and verse 36. It says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass 
and to stand before the Son of Man. Okay? So we are to watch, man. That's what the Lord said to do. Alright? Watch and pray, man. Um, you know, another one comes to mind. The book of um, First Peter. Uh, see if I can get that real quick. Book of First Peter, chapter four, verse seven. First Peter, chapter four, and verse seven. It says, "But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer." Right. But the end of all things is at hand. The end of all things is at hand, man. Okay? The end of all things are at hand. We are in the end. And you know what the scripture is saying? Right? Second Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. And this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. We in the end, man. We in the end. And you can see it through the prophecies, man. When you measure the time diligently within itself. Okay? Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1 going down. You measure the time, because members say we would we have to watch and pray always. So we 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 at the end, but the end of all things is at hand. Be therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Okay. So right, we in the end, man. So at the end of the day, you gotta wake up, man. Wake up and do the the, the work and the will of the Most High. All right, as you you're gonna be caught off guard. You're not gonna be ready when things start falling apart over here. All right, so you got to wake up, man. Let's go to the book of um, Romans. Okay, Romans chapter thirteen and verse eleven. Let's get that. All right, you got to wake up, man. Wake up. You know. Things about to get real bad out here. Tribulation, great tribulation. Jacob's trouble. All of these things. Right, wake up to what's going on. This is uh, Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. It says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Okay? And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. You got to wake up for two. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Okay? This is time for you to get yourself together. Turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Seek the Lord, man. All right? Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he's near. Isaiah 55 and 6. You know? This is the time, man, because things is going to get battled here. Scripture tell you we got to enter the kingdom through tribulation. You know, hard, difficult times. You know? It's going to be real rough out here, man. And if you don't have a hedge of protection, if you're not covered by the blood of the Lamb, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be um, detrimental out here, man. You know? So hey man, um, it would behoove you to seek the Lord in these times, man, and make notarian to turn to the Lord. You know, Scripture tells you that make notarian to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in your security you shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay. So, um, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Time to seek the Most High and, 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 and find that hedge of protection. You know? The scripture tells you Psalms chapter 34 and verse 7. We could get that. 
You know, the angel of the Lord encamp around about those that fear him, man. All right? Let's get that real quick. This is the book of, um, this is the book of, um, Psalms chapter 34 and verse 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. All right? The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Okay? So, you know, you know it's, it's, not, it's not going around it, man. You're going to need a hedge of protection in that day. Okay? You're going to need a hedge of protection in that day. So, you have to seek the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Hopefully, you were edified. I'm going to give all honor and glory and praises unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, Shalom.